What's up, good people? It's your boy, Jay Free, coming back at you again. Um, you know, once again, just trying to share um, information and knowledge with my people, hoping that those that are listening pay attention to begin to arise and wake from the sleep, you know what I'm saying, and slumber, so we can begin to take back what rightfully belongs to us. Um, we've been talking about the Willie Lynch letter, and I'm going to get back into that most definitely because we still haven't finished breaking it down. It's still more... Um, to the plan, and I mean, it just it continues to unfold and tie into our current condition um, and the things that we face with yet today. Um, but of course, I always, you know, hit on a little topic, and so now today we're talking about, you know, the Supreme Court's decision to, um, you know, allow gay marriage. Um, again, for me, I I have not strong or a lot of opinions in regards to a a lot of things, just like I said about the flag, it didn't change. When it comes to gay marriage, the the first thing I'm going to say is this whole thing, if anybody's really paying attention, is just a distraction because now everybody's talking about this gay marriage as opposed to the shooting in South Carolina, the violence being opposed against black people on the regular, um, the, the, not just the violence, but the difference. See, this is what the racism, white supremacy unfolds through the Willie Lynch letter, definitely, especially. It, it exposes that it's deeper than just that the racism, white supremacy, when we talk about the system, Let me just say this, because when people hear that white supremacy attached, a lot of people that are unfamiliar immediately think about Aryan Brotherhood, you know, swastikas and Germany, Nazi and, you know, and that's not the case. When we talk about the racism, white supremacy, we're talking about this breakdown. We're talking about the system that have been imposed on our people that have us in the condition that we are in psychologically, where unconsciously we operate in the condition. As we do in everything that we see around us without even being aware of who we really are and what we really are capable of and what really rightfully belongs to us. We just follow behind because we, you know, completely unaware. And so it's very important that, you know, we begin to um, talk about these things. I'm sorry. Let me hold for a minute. My uh, computer trying to shut me down (laughs) but um um, where was i as we you know like i say we talking about the system and when we talking about the system what we are explaining is a strategic plan implemented to psychologically psychologically unaware people to impose poverty or to keep them down to annihilate and eliminate them to use us like they said in the letter for those that have been listening through the breakdown to use us what did they say and i so y'all understand for productive so useful production for their business and pleasure like they said and so this system that have been put in play it applies to every area of existence in every area of life they use sub- subliminal messaging they use symbolism you see what i'm saying they control entertainment they control media they control the news they control every they control everything you see what i'm saying and so as this elite group sits atop accomplishing what they're accomplishing people unaware and so when we talking about racism white supremacy we talking about a real deal system so we're not just talking about removing a confederate flag from a, a, a capital we're not talking about who gives us who cares about whether they you know uh, allow gay marriage or not it doesn't matter you see what i'm saying these are all distractions that are in play to try to take away from what's really effective now in regards to the gay marriages again marriage itself as an institution who cares man i mean you know so many years ago again without all of this as just like everything else just like our birth certificates social security numbers the marriage certificate as well falls right into line with the control system of manipulation because there was a time when marriage was only recorded in the family bible or whatever you know book that you had but it wasn't a, a requirement by law now it's a requirement by law and now they've imposed that gay so it's all the distraction we won't concern ourselves with that um because it's really unnecessary it don't matter to the meat of the subject the meat of the subject is really reparations and restitution instant for the things that we have lost 
you know what I'm saying, as a people in a community through hundreds of years of conditioning. You see what I'm saying? People have to understand how serious this thing is and the root of it and where it goes. Like I say, we're not just talking about, you know, a, a job. We're talking about a people being eliminated and exterminated psychologically. Our history, our culture, everything about who we really are and them recreating it. So we're going to dive back into this Willie Lynch letter. You know what I'm saying? Yesterday we was talking about, um, we just broke down how they talked about the breaking process again with us, with the, with the horse. And they talked about tiring the feather, tearing apart the biggest nigga with horses, having him ripped apart while he was set on fire. And then beating all the other niggas till they was uh, doggone near dead. You know what I'm saying? They talked about all of this. And we paid attention to this. And then they said in the process of breaking the nigga like that, then the woman should be, she should come into submission. But remember through the paper, they also said that this the first generation. So don't focus on them because they won't be as they'll still have some some touch to who they really were. You know what I'm saying? But but if you do it right, then the, the next generation that they bring up will be what a what a what will be more effective. And then what did they say? They said through the process of this breaking, I'm just doing a quick follow for those that's catching on late. We reversed nature by burning and pulling a nigga. But they said, so what they had late, what they had left was, they said the male image was destroyed and it caused the woman to be moved from a psychological dependent state to a frozen independent state. So at one point they were psychologically dependent on us men. In other words, we were the leaders. We were who they depended on for structure, for guidance, for 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 companionship, for for to to know what to do and where to go. And it says, but now they were removed from psychologically depending on us as the protector and the provider, and now they were removed to an independent state. So we were no longer protector and provider, but now they were independent. Where they they had to become self protective and self provider. You see what I'm saying? And it says now in this frozen independent state, uh, she raise her male and female offspring in reverse roles. She said, and what you have is the woman out front and the nigga man behind the scared. You see what I'm saying? So this was yesterday. We talked about this. So now today, we're going to get into what they was talking about. So this is, again, the Willie Lynch. I'm not making it up. I can't make it up. It is what it is. You'll research it. Um, I'm going to put it online, I guess, at some point. Put the actual paperwork online for people to read it so they know it ain't made up. But it says... Just giving them an example. It says, we'll breed two nigger males with two nigger females. Then we'll take the nigger male away from them and keep them moving and working. One nigger female, say one nigger female bears a nigger female and the other bears a nigger male. Both nigger females being without influence of the nigger male image, frozen with an independent psychology. What we just talked about, what they said the condition was of breaking us. This was the process. Now once we're broken and the woman has been tested to make sure she's submissive, it says now you bring bring that them broken niggas, the ones that was beat damn near to death, to where they've they, they been beat into submission because they scared that they could be ripped apart and tarred and feathered and set on fire and ripped apart. You got to understand Understand what you how you can fight back to that it ain't no nigga, you ain't that tough they done took the biggest nigga they done took Debo already tarred and feathered ripped him apart so now that the nigga scared they bring him back for breeding purpose only and breed him back to the female so now she's broken they get rid of the nigga again he done birthed them like that like we dogs you see what I'm saying like just like the horse like they said so now. She, they, the women birth and they giving an example of the two females because they want to use the male and the female. So they say now one bears the female and one bears a male. They say both nigga females now that they in this state that we talked about without the, the male image and with being frozen independent psychology. Now the male is no longer the provider and the protector. Now I have to worry about myself. So now they say they will raise their offspring into reverse positions. The one with the female offspring would teach her to be just like herself, frozen with an independent mind state. I got to take care of myself. You see what I'm saying? And the white man as provider. And then it will raise and notice it says independent and negotiable. 
We negotiate with her through her by her. We negotiate her at will. This is what he says in the paper in regards to the, the, the woman. And like I say, she's broken. She's got an independent psychology. The black male can no longer be her protector and provider because he knows if he steps out of line that he'll be completely destroyed. So now she's left to fend for herself. And in this condition, the white man now negotiates with her because she looks up to him and thinks he's there for her and her provider and thinks he can protect her because he's the one that hold her life in his hands. You see what I'm saying? And so now you apply that to the day and everybody's favorite scandal and Olivia and this and this and that. You know what I'm saying? And you see how the image is continually portrayed and how it's passed down through the generations. And we have actually grown up like this through the years. And we un we don't understand what's going on. It's the conditioning of our mind that have taken place within our community while brethren is acting like animals because we're being treated like animals. You see what I'm saying? They only allow who to get through, who they want to get through. So anyway, it says he'll teach the female to be just like herself and, and be where we can control her. And it says, but the one with the nigger male, now watch this though, because this will be, remember the first generation of niggas was broken and they was used for, but now I know this is what he say. Now with the nigger male, because she's in a frozen subconscious fear for his, for his life, huh, Afraid that he'll be, she know if he grow up, so she trying to raise him to not have no inkling to go against master. You better not never think about saying nothing to the boss. You better always be in line. You, you, you see what I'm saying? Because she's subconsciously afraid of his life because of the breaking process. And because of this, she will raise him to be mentally dependent and weak, but physically strong. In other words, body over mind. How do we translate that today? The mentally dependent and weak, but physically strong. So I don't mean to mess with nobody's psyche and please don't be offended at what I say. But you have to understand the process because a nigga that will, will fight you over a girl or stepping on his J's or looking at him the wrong way or out here stealing and killing over the dope game or gang banging or whatever. We look at these niggas as straight OG. He tough. He killer. He hard. And I mean, you know, I ain't like I say, I ain't trying to mess with nobody and challenge nobody and cause beef. But that is the physically strong because mentally strong wouldn't wouldn't partake in most of the foolishness that we partake in for one. But for two, mentally strong would wouldn't even have to succumb to the level of some of the things that we have to succumb to succumb to but I, I again it's a system that's been placed on us because they're telling us this is how we're being raised but all I'm doing is challenging showing our our understanding of strong and weak is different or is 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 out of course because Mentally strong is completely different than physically strong because mentally strong means I'm a stand for something and I'm willing to die for something that really means something that's mentally strong. And I means I, I may not stand up or be willing to fight for some foolishness over some J's. You might can call me a bitch and I might turn around and walk away and that's fine. You know what I'm saying? Um, you might can even call me a nigga and I turn around and walk away and that might be fine. But let the proper situation arise to where it matters and it means something uh, uh, grateful and strong and then the people that stand up in those situations the, the people that understand how to how to overcome and fight through the mentally tough situations you see what I'm saying anybody can go rob steal and kill when they got to pay their light bill but the person that finds an intuitive way to make it through that struggle is, is mentally strong you understand what I'm saying I, I don't want to get too deep in this but I, what I'm hitting on is this is what they're talking about raising us physically strong this is why we in the streets thugging and banging because all we got is physical strength but we we mentally weak you see what i'm saying because this is what the conditioning was meant to do in other words body over mind now in a few years when these two offsprings become fertile for early reproduction we will mate and breed them and continue the cycle over and over and that is good for sound and again this word long range economic comprehensive planning Again, long term. This is how they planned it. Now watch this. 
I'm going to just read this. Now, this is what they say. They give He gives his own synopsis as he breaks into something real deep. And I'm going to hopefully not have to go too long because this thing gets deeper. He says, earlier we talked about the non-economic good of the horse and the nigga in a wild or natural state. We talked about... We talked out the principle of breaking the town and together for orderly production, which we went through. He said, furthermore, we talked about paying particular attention to the female savage and her offspring for orderly future planning. He says, then more recently, we stated that by reversing the positions of the male and female savages, we created an orbiting cycle that turns on its own axis forever unless a phenomenon occurred and reshifts positions of the male and female savages did you understand what they said because all that i've talked through the other videos and even now he said everything that we did was by reversing the position of the male and female which we just talked about the male is no longer protector and provider now she is independent and depends on herself. That's why she, I don't need a man. I can do it on my own. I can this and that. And the structure of the family is completely reversed because this is what they intended and this is what they created. This is why, as they said before, the male nigga is behind the scared, mentally weak, and the female is out in the front. And she watches front and she protect and she work for them, so to say, as they said. And look at our society and tell me that I'm wrong. This is why Dr. Umar be on the feminist movement so much. But I, you know, I'm not on that right now. You know, we on this. But notice he said this thing would turn on its own axis forever unless a phenomenon occurred that could reshift them positions back to its original state. But now watch this is where it gets deep, people. He says, let me take a swallow. He says, but our experts warned us, though, about the possibility of this phenomenon occurring. Did you hear him? So in other words, now, because this is finna blow y'all minds and get real deep. I've been breaking down some parts of how this has affected us, but watch this. Now, he says, now notice, like we said before in the other videos, they, they put practice into this they called this man from another from the, the west indies to come over for the, to, to address this issue they put scientific thought and theory and process into preparing this so he says the experts warned us even still that once we got into the mind and broke them and and, and could, could manipulate their mind and lie to them and, and trick them once we could do that and, and pass it down through generations even though we know it could continue forever he said yet there's still a chance that a phenomenon could occur that could turn it back and watch what the phenomenon is the mind has a strong drive to correct and recorrect itself over a period of time if it can touch some substantial original historical base Woo. he says no matter how much manipulation and lying and no matter how much we've tried to convince the mind and tried to lie and change it and we've got into the unconscious of the mind he says no matter how much we've done that because of the law of nature and because of the true science behind the energy the third the pineal gland the mind and how it operates and functions he says knowing this science and deeper science i'm just touching surface but he says knowing the deep science if the mind over a period of time no matter how much it's manipulated he says if it can come in touch with some substantial origin of its history some substantial history of its origin, some substantial origin of its history, whatever you want to say. Then, then in that case, the phenomenon could be reversed. And I say this because it's a blessing that videos like Hidden Colors have touched surface. Because that's been, like I said in another video before, just like uh, the birth of a nation fueled the KKK movement. 
the the hidden colors video has sparked an awakening amongst our people and i'm so grateful for uh tyreek and, and all of those that he collaborated with, with to to produce that those videos man it's awesome man because it it, it puts a um a, it, it puts a, a glossary of information together you know what i'm saying if i can use that word in there but um we get on this and he says it has a way to correct itself he says so they this was the trick this was what the answer was though so they advised us that the best way to deal with that phenomenon was to shave off them the brute's mental history and create a multiplicity of phenomena of illusions. Woo, now y'all gonna hate me now. I know they gonna hate me because this is my closing point for the night and then we gonna get it again tomorrow. I'm telling y'all the thing gets deep. You can argue with me but the truth is here. It's written. I ain't, I ain't make it up. I'm just breaking it down. But check it out. The best way to deal with a phenomena. Now, y'all know, listen to how deep everything was we talked about. But he said, so the best way for them to deal with it was to shave off the brute's mental history and create a multiplicity of phenomena of illusions. So now I present to you Christianity, Islam, and so on and so forth. And what happens is now, even when you present something like hidden colors with all of the factual evidence and information that can be researched once you watch the videos and all of the information that's even presented within the videos and all of the credible people that spoke out and that had come to an agreement people still love Jesus I still love the Lord Jesus people even now with me breaking this down and them telling you within themselves that they would eliminate the brute's mental history and create a phenomena of mental, of a multiplicity of phenomena of illusions. Again, in what language or galaxy would you imagine that to mean, but we are going to give them the Bible and Christianity because that's the way, the truth, and the life? Please make it make sense. I'm going to go into talking about Christianity because for those that don't know, I'm a former preacher. So I know about the thing. I'm just talking about, see, I try to break things down to its simplicity to not make them so complicated. It don't have to be deep. You see what I'm saying? Things are deep, but they don't have to be because it's really simple when you get to it and get to the meat of it. See, I dig to the meat. So I got some, I got information, but I dig to the meat. This letter right here, look how much information we can pull out of it because it ties to everything. But notice what they said. This was their answer, was to create a multiplicity of phenomena of, of illusions so that each illusion would twirl in its own orbit. Something similar to floating balls <laughs> in, in the vacuum. <laughs> And this is what I'm saying, people. So I'm a, I'm ending on this point for this evening. But look, man, it's a plan. It's been devised. I've broken down ways in these couple videos, and even I've talked about things in the past in my other videos. We have to begin to open our eyes and pay attention to the things that are happening around us because everything is evident. Like I said, it's simple. We don't have to make it deep. We ain't got to be deep. That's why I can talk like this. I know how to... <clears throat> properly articulate the language that's necessary for the crowd or the people that it is that I am, you know, engaging myself in conversation with at the time. But man, I talk how I talk because that's who I am. And there's no need for me to flip the script and try to be something that I'm not. I can go as deep as necessary. Like I say, I'm a former minister. So a former preacher licensed and ordained. I mean, I can put on shirt, shoot, shirt, shirt suit and tab and all of the works. But I come raw just as I am because this thing is simple and I'm trying to reach the raw and just as I am people because this is what it's about. So again, it's your boy Jay Free coming at you. We talking racism, white supremacy, Willie Lynch breaking it down. People wake up and understand it's been a plan. They have devised that Christianity is a lie. It is a multiplicity of phenomena of illusions. It is a lie. Peace. I love y'all, man. Be blessed.